What is going on guys? Welcome back for another tips and guide video. Today, we're going to quickly be going over how to install texture packs in Minecraft 1.21. Let's get into it. Quick side note, skip to 2.30 if you already have texture packs downloaded but not installed. So, following the first link is going to take you to the planetminecraft.com website. It's already going to be loaded onto the texture packs page. All you're going to want to do is click the drop down, make sure you choose 1.21, and you can go ahead and choose any texture pack from here. They should all be optimized for 1.21. And we're going to go ahead and choose the better vanilla building. From here, you just want to go down and click the big blue download button. So most of the time, by clicking that big blue download, it's going to take you to the actual texture packs website where you can download it directly from there. So for the better vanilla building, you can see we have the big download button here and we are going to just hit download. You can download this to wherever you want and we're just going to throw it on our desktop and save it for later. Now if you continue on following the second link in the description, this will take you to the Modrinth website. Now this is the website that I use for most of my Minecraft stuff, whether that's shaders, data packs, resource packs, mod packs, plugins. Um, this is kind of my go-to page. Um, you're just going to make sure that you're on resource packs up here. The link should take you directly to it. And we are going to scroll down to the bottom. Make sure that on the left side for Minecraft versions, you have 1.21 chosen and you can go ahead and choose any texture pack from this page. We're going to go ahead and choose the default HD pack. Now, the nice part about this website is that you can download the versions directly from the site. You can just make sure here that it's for Minecraft 1.21 and we're going to go ahead and click the big green download button. Save that to wherever you want and we're also going to throw that on our desktop for after. Following the third link in the description is going to take you to our last resource pack website. This is resourcepack.net and also a great option for choosing resource packs. This should take you right to the 1.21 list and we're just going to go ahead and choose summer fields. All you're going to do is when you choose on this website is scroll all the way down to the bottom until you get the download links and make sure you choose the 1.21. You can again save this anywhere you want and we will go ahead and drag it to our desktop. Once you have the texture packs that you have wanted to download on your desktop, we are gonna go ahead and open up our Minecraft. So our Minecraft is opened up here and all we're gonna do is head to options and resource packs. Now from here, what you can do is drag and drop those files that you've downloaded directly into Minecraft, or you can go ahead and click open pack folder, which will open up your folder and you can drag and drop directly into this folder. Now that these have been drag and dropped, we can go back into Minecraft and you can see they've showed up. All we do is click the over arrow, over arrow, and there's one other here, Dramatic Skies. It was made for an older version, but it still works with 121 because it is just a sky pack. And once you have arrowed over all the texture packs that you just downloaded, you can go ahead and click done. It's gonna load them up into the game and from there, we can go into our single player world and check out all of our new resource packs that we just downloaded. And now that our game's loaded up, we can see that all of our new texture packs have been installed and added to our game. That is all we have for you guys today. It's as simple as that, downloading your file and dragging dropping into your resource pack folder on your Minecraft. It is super, super simple and it takes about two seconds to do. I think the longest part of this is going through and actually choosing the resource and texture packs that you actually want to use. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope this is quick and right to the point. Um, I appreciate you guys checking out these tips and guide videos. I hope they help, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys. Have a great one.